how do economists now look at the prime minister's e report card remember yesterday figures showed that gdp figures are creeping up 7.4 percent importantly manufacturing is also showing an upward trend but there are concerns also particularly when it comes to private investments how do economists see the prime minister's economic track record i spoke to jagdish bhagwati professor emeritus at columbia university someone who's tracked modinomics very closely listen in to jagdish bhagwati decoding modinomics and joining me now on india today tv is a very special person who's been here for the times lit fest uh, jagdish bhagwati professor bhagwati of course a formidable intellect appreciate your joining us uh, uh, professor i wanted to ask you on hindsight how would you today look 18 months into the narendra modi government not really let down because you see when, when you i'm what what in soviet writings you call a gradualist you know there are some people who feel like my colleague jeffrey sachs that you can, he says you can't cross a chasm a, a valley <laughs> in two leaps so you have to do it in one leap and so my wife who is a Russian expert told him on TV and you can't do it even in one leap unless you were Indiana Jones. So you're saying 18 months is too short a time to assess how the Modi government has performed on the critical issue of the economy? Because we are a democracy and we have this constraint like President Obama which is that the legislature and in our case the Rajya Sabha <coughs> is a, a obstacle mm -hmm. and so the Prime Minister has to think in terms of ordinances, which is executive action, just like the President Obama is doing. So you've got to figure out how best to <laughs> transit and, you know, get around this difficulty. And I think he was beginning to do that. But the only problem is that <clears throat> his strategy, which I think seems sensible, to try and get places like Bihar, the election, that didn't work out. He lost Bihar. Therefore, is the ability to to have ordinances uh, make the transition to actually getting the legislation through Rajya Sabha was compromised. Saying land and labor to your mind is far more critical in terms of the next reform phase, even more than a GST, which is an indirect, which would sort of usher in a new indirect tax regime. Absolutely. You see, I think there, there's a GST kind complements this sort of. It's not a substitute for it. What GST basically does is to make the internal market more integrated. If I were to ask you one, two, three, the three things that you believe he should do in the next one year, which, if you come back a year later, will m b convince you that Mr. Modi is on the right track. What would those three things be quickly? Well, three things may be made to. But first thing, he's got to explain to the nation what he means by governance. Okay. Well, the point that I was making, right? That one, he, that is that public, the delivery of public services, private services, encouraging efficiency in that way. Okay. That is very important, as we all agree. That's number one. The other one is that he, on international trade, he has to maintain all these relationships he's setting up. Uh, we can't just say we won't join uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership. <clears throat> there are reasons why we can't join. Because okay. they shove in all kinds of extraneous matter. We are not Chile or Rwanda, Burundi or something. We are a big country with a big market, which is what he can play on. That's and so two. we can set that. Okay. <clears throat> and we can play the Eastern card much better than uh, than we have done so far. Number three? And number three, he's got to encourage people like Vasundha Raj and so on and really unleash his Niti Aayog and so on to help with the labor market reforms and the land market reforms. It can be done, but it means setting up committees, setting up technical people, which I think is lacking right now. In conclusion, on a scale of 10, how much would you give Prime Minister Modi in his first 18 months if it was purely on the state of the economy and what he's done for it? Well, on the state of the economy, I would just simply say that you take all the bricks, you know, all the BRIC countries have fallen off their horses. We are the only ones still riding. <laughs> so he's been lucky or <laughs> it's really worked out for it. So I would say that to say that the economy has not worked doesn't make any sense. But if you ask me on the state of reforms and so on and reorganizing the institutions and so on, I would give him about six right now. It's the crucial climate summit 
in Paris. Two weeks after a deadly terror attack, the focus is to save the environment. India has major initiatives, but in this, Prime Minister.